The first year she's not pregnant, the second year she's not pregnant, and as years go by and the more times she's not pregnant, you just get a bit disheartened. The difficulty with preg panda pregnancies is the fact that they sometimes show signs of pregnancy, but they're not really pregnant, and that's what has happened for the past few years. So that very day, it was no different from the previous ultrasound scans. I, I turned up, I moved in, and I started scanning her. And it's the same signs that we've been seeing for the previous scans uh, that we did in July. The cervix was thickened, the uterus was thickened, and just as I was about to end the session, I saw this little bag of fluid and thought, wait a second, this is something that's new. And uh, lo and behold, I actually saw what I thought was a beating heart. I didn't believe what I was seeing. I looked at uh, the two keepers that were with me, and I looked back at the screen and uh, didn't want to tell them anything yet because I had to process my thoughts. And as I was keeping my equipment for the day, I said, I think, Panda is pregnant. And then I started speaking to uh, my colleagues. Our Panda is finally pregnant. You should have just been there to see the looks on your faces. Everyone was ecstatic. Everyone could not believe me, but I had the video on my hand and I said, look at this, this is the heart. We wanted to confirm this, which is why we repeated the scan again on Thursday. And I, I was shocked because within these two days, the amount of development this fetus had was insane. So pandas have one of the quickest growth rates of any mammal. And what was a mesh on Tuesday turned out to be a structure with a head, with a visible structures in the abdominal cavity, with all four limbs, um, a recognizable fetus. And everyone could say, hey, she is pregnant, for sure.